How's it going guys? So in today we're going to be tackling this animation you're seeing right here. I've done a tutorial very similar to this one in the past, but it was animated much differently. And this time we're going to be messing with some noise in the nodes and looping the animation. So let's get into how to create this animation loop. So here's what the project file looks like. It's going to be rendered in Eevee. If you want the project file, it is available in the description for a dollar. Everybody on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. If you don't know about the Patreon, there's tons of new project files, exclusive tutorials, I talk about my client work and I'll be releasing a cool animation pack. There's going to be 50 animation loop project files and exports. So you'll be getting that along with the new glitch pack, which will be posted on the Patreon in a couple days before the end of this month of March. So if you want to go check out the Patreon, you can go do that in the description, but let's get into how to create this. All right, so we're going to open up an empty scene. Make sure that you are in Eevee on the render Eevee render engine here. I'm going to hit shift A, go to the curves and get a circle. Now we have this here. Now if you'll notice something about the circle, it's kind of a low poly circle. So if you go over here to the object properties, you can bring your resolution preview all the way up to 64. Now that we have this, we need to add some geometry. So we're going to geometry and extrude it uh, right about to there and right click convert to mesh. And so now we have um, a nice mesh to go with. So now we're going to add in a particle system. So click on the particle system over here, click the plus icon and select hair. And so now it's going to be pointing outward, which is what we want. Now we're going to want to mess with this hair. So shift A and we're going to add in a force field of turbulence. And if you go to the turbulence settings right here, you can bring up the strength and you'll see it moving. Now, as you can see, now this portion of the hair is kind of low poly. If we really go crazy with it, it's very straight looking kind of low poly hair. To fix that, you have to go to the viewport display here in the hair. And right here on strand steps, I'm gonna pop it up here to eight. Now when we get to animating that, um, it'll be a little bit too much for your PC. So we're gonna bring that down, but for just to see how it looks on the design, we're gonna keep it here at eight to make them nice and smooth. Now, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in my camera here and we're gonna make this guy point directly down. So zero, and then we'll have zero on the Y and zero on the Z. If you don't know where that is, we are here in the object properties tab. Everything zero on the rotation. Now we'll hit zero, hit G and middle click on your mouse to bring it all the way up. We'll go right here. And then what we want to do is bring the circle all the way down so you can barely see the center. Let me remove this stuff. We're going to bring that circle all the way down like that. And then we'll take the hair, go to the hair settings and on hair length, Bring it all the way up till it passes up your camera nicely. Now I brought it all the way to the, the limit. So I'm gonna hit on my camera, hit G and bring it in a little bit like this. Now let's head over to shading this guy. Shading it, we're gonna hit render, bring our world brightness right here. You can hear the, see the world brightness, bring it all the way to black. And then let's click a new material, delete that, shift A and get a emission node. Mission node right here, plug it into the surface, and now we have our strings back. Now shift A, let's get a color ramp. Plug the color ramp here into the color, and then let's pick the two colors that we want. So I'm gonna go with a yellow and a more closer to the red orange, and then bring our strength up. Now we have this, they're both, they're blending right now. It's still a solid color. We need to get a noise texture. Get this noise texture, plug the factor into the color ramp, and we're gonna get some variation once we once we change from linear to constant and then bring it in. Now you can see the variation in these hair particles, which is really, really cool. Now let's head over and animate it. So this looks really, really cool. Let's click on the hair particles here and bring those strand steps down to, I'm gonna say three, so we can see a nice smooth animation so that it doesn't overload our, our scene. We still want it to animate real time so we can see how fast it is. So let's click on the field now and if you just hit R twice, once you've clicked on the field, you can see it moves around really cool. So we are going to rotate it on the Y axis. Now I'm going to do 240 frames. That'll make this a 10 second animation here at 24 frames a second. All right, so very important, hit the back arrow to go to frame zero. Now click this right here, right here on the Y axis of the rotation. Go to the very end and type in 360. So that'll make it rotate at a perfect 360 to make it animate seamlessly. And then as you can see, now it's animating really nicely. Of course, it is gonna be that low poly look, so it's not gonna look as 
um, you know, low poly. It's going to be very more smooth and fluid and look less like, uh, you know, dry noodles, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, so then now all we have to do, if you really want to preview how it looks, go to back to eight and you're going to get a much smoother look. What I'm going to do is um, go back to the field settings. Well, I'm going to bring this back down to three and I want it to be a little bit more dramatic of an animation. So we'll go click on the field and then click this little thing right here. I'm going to press play and I'm going to be playing with the size um, of the point. So of the, the field. So I'm going to do something like this. I like the way that looks. So it looks like a size of 1.20. So I'm going to bring maybe a size of 1, maybe a little bit more. Something like this. I like the way that looks. And then you can see how it's affecting our hair. And then you can bring up that strength, sort of like bring up the strength of a displacement modifier. And now you're going to get more dramatic animations um, as you play with it. If you bring it closer to zero, you're going to make see it speed up. And so you just want to sort of play with it however you want your animation to look. And then once you press pause, I'm going to go back to the hair and bring those strand steps back to eight. And now you're going to get a really beautiful animation. Of course, it's jumpy now, but this is the animation. All right, now we're done. So let's head over and export it. So I'm going to hit this guy right here. I'm going to change this to wherever I want to save it. So I'm going to call this sun. And then I'm going to go from PNG to FF MPEG video encoding, bring that to MP4 and medium to perceptually lossless. And then you have you render, render animation. And once you do that, you're going to get a really beautiful, nice, smooth animation for whatever you want to use this for. It's really cool. It's kind of satisfying to look at as well, depending on the colors you look. Really blue and light blue also looks really pretty for this as well. So uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching and hope you learned something.